Hi there. I'm Bob Lander, owner of Paradise Hills Resort and Spa in Blairsville, Georgia. And we're excited. We just got a shipment of vines in to replace some of the vines from last year that uh, didn't quite make it or do what we wanted them to do. So these are from Double A Vineyard in New York, which is where we have bought pretty much all of our vines since we started the vineyard here. And we're going to open the box up and do a reveal for you and show you how they come and how they're shipped. Uh, we wait normally until this time of year so that we have a uh, pretty good idea that we're probably not going to have any more frost events. Uh, these vines won't go in the ground for another week or so. We'll explain that in just a minute. But they come back in plastic and in the box is wet newspaper in order to keep the vines wet during shipping. And a lot of people are curious what the vines look like when we get them before we put them in the ground. And this is what they look like. So these are the Riesling vine replacement vines. And they have a root system that has actually been clipped back. They grow these in a greenhouse um, in New York. They cut them back and they put them in cold storage over the winter. And then when we are ready for them, they ship them to us. And what you have is the root system here. And then you can see, if you look right here, the vine has been grafted, meaning that the root system is a root system that we chose based on our climate and our soil conditions uh, and kind of history that we've had with this uh, root system in the past. So from here down uh, is the root system and from here up, actually just this little part here is the actual varietal, in this case uh, being Riesling. So what we do with these when we get them is count them to make sure we got the proper number. Um, and then what we'll do with these is we're not going to plant these for about another four or five days, but we have a bucket of water and we'll gently, just being careful not to break the roots, we want to submerge them in water and let those pull all that liquid up into the vine because when we put it in the ground we're not sure if the ground is going to be moist or not. Um, we do not have irrigation here. We have not needed it in the years that we've been in business. Uh, but we want to let those vines pull that water up into the vine and keep them wet. Uh, when we plant them we will water them the first few days and then they usually do pretty good on their own. Um, a little bit about Double A Vineyard. We've had very, very good luck with them. Uh, you can, as a commercial vineyard or a private citizen, uh, purchase vines from them. They also have a great uh, supply and array of different fruit trees, uh, edible grapes, um, and different things. So visit their website um, and give them some business. They've been very good to us. The reason that we got replacement vines, um, when you put a vine in the ground, you take care of it and you hope that it does well. We've had some soil problems that we have since amended, uh, but sometimes they just don't make it. You try as hard as you can. Uh, out of a thousand vines that we put in, we may have replaced 25 or 30, so that's not a bad number. Um, now that we've got the soil where we want it, I think these will do fine. We will amend them with some um, fertilizer and nitrogen to get them going out of the ground this year. And then three years from now, they should have fruit. Thank you very much.